Hey surfers, welcome back to the channel. So today there will be a little longer video than it was yesterday. And uh, also the topic will be again uh, so popular but yet provocative and sensitive. So if you're not ready to watch this, if you don't want to know about this, then don't watch it. Okay, uh, it will be about third party situation. Uh, you are asking a lot about a third person here. So it doesn't matter what kind of position you are having. Either you are a partner or a lover, mistress, whatever. Uh, so we are talking about a third person. So that other person that your person is involved with. I, I, I hope I hope I clarified right. <laughs> so we will check um, because you always want to know this. So is third person aware of this situation? So if they know that they are in a third party relationship, so if they are if they are aware of you, and if they are, what are they thinking about it? What will they do? Okay, something like this. We'll try to uh, establish this. Uh, also, depending what cards will show us in the process. It is also possible that we won't get an answer. Um, please be aware again that cards are showing us just current tendencies and energies and not necessarily the outcome only the potential outcome um, and at the end you have your own free will to make your own choices and so is that person we are inquiring about so also the third person has all those possibilities uh, so again, if you're not ready to watch this, then please don't. If you, if nothing resonates here, then there is no message for you. Just move on. Nothing wrong with this. Okay, so this is the selection. Three decks I will be working with. Um, this will be group number one. This will be group number two. And this will be group number three. So imagine that third person and we will try to find out if they are aware of this situation and what are they thinking about it okay so if you are ready we can begin with group number one hey group number one this is for everybody that picked up arcanum tarot so we're discussing today or not discussing, <laughs> trying to find out if third person is aware of you or the whole situation and what are they thinking about it, okay? And if the cards will show us that they are not aware, so then we'll just check the potential outcome, okay? So, group number one is third person aware of the situation are they aware of you Is third person aware of you? I want to give this a really good shuffle. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so the world. I'll take the world. The world. Last card of the major arcana. So this means the cycle is ending. So it's possible that there is coming to realization. And somehow I feel that this person is anxious. Somehow I think that they're not that deep down inside. They maybe know, but they don't just don't. They are somehow trying to avoid this. They're trying to avoid 
the realization. Okay, so we do have here the world. So what else? Are they aware of the situation? It's like on the moment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that confirms it. So they're afraid of the result. Okay, look. Look, those are fears. Fears, they can't sleep at night because of it. So, I would say not just, they are not just ready to confess. Yes, I'm an, looks like that I'm in a third party relationship or in that kind of situation. What's this? And six of swords. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shadow card, chariot. Next is justice. Hmm. Okay, let's stop right here for a moment. So nevertheless, those two cards, we'll talk about them later. I will just leave them here. So some, as I said, so here we have the world, which is the last card in the whole cycle. So in this is the end of the journey. So somehow I would say that if they were thinking about it, so the whole process of thinking that this thought would actually become real so that this is real not just an imagination or a thought so this now comes to an end okay so this cycle this processing now is coming to an end so they are thinking about it and they are thinking about a lot so as i said i, f I feel like they are anxious and nine of swords came out so this is the card of anxiety of fear, uh, nervousness, um, they can't sleep at night, it's possible they maybe even, um, I wouldn't say that they're hysterical, I don't feel them like a hysterical person, but that they are making their fears even bigger, um, they make things Thing, the whole situation bigger than it is okay i mean the whole thing of course this is big this is a huge um this is not an easy situation okay um and let me be clear um i'm here on no one's side i'm now just trying to describe to you how this person is engaged in whole the situation so what are they thinking about it and how do they feel and if they are aware of this okay so it's not like that they are their advocate okay <laughs> i'm just trying to explain uh how i think that they feel um so because they are so afraid of this realization they make their fears even bigger than this than, than the, the actual realization is so you know it's not the end of the world for for someone that looks from afar it's not the end of the world but for their for they um for them is for them is end of the world and look figure of speech so the card of the world so end of the world this realization for them is end of the world so they are in a third party they their partner is not loyal to them um so this is the end of the world for them and right now they are not they are aware of it but they are still not ready to admit it okay because here we have six of swords and this means re removing uh yourself from something look like going away so go it's like they're uh running away okay this is like running away here with this card usually we have a boat and a person and in classical rider wade smith there is a man and uh, there are a woman and a child and they have all cloaks uh it's possible even the night so they're not going uh in the middle of the day when everybody are watching okay so this is like an escape so they're they're trying to run away 
from this idea, from this situation. They are afraid to face it. Okay, they are what they are trying. Um, they are trying to run away. And bottom cards. Here we have the chariot. Chariot running away again, victoriously. Okay, so and here we have a justice. So. This could be indicating a divorce or something, a legal process, separation, whatever. Mm, but I, I wanted to say that mm, chariot, okay, victoriously, mm, victory, victoriously moving forward. But somehow I think that this, that in this case, this chariot is not about winning, but they only think if they will close their eyes they they won't see this thing okay this is just them thinking if they will if that they will win this situation if they will close their eyes and if they won't realize this okay look look at this person look at this girl she's having closed eyes okay so she doesn't want to see she is mewling over and over and over in her head, but she doesn't want to open her eyes because she's afraid what she will see. And she is running away from this, okay? So, let's see now. What is the potential outcome here? So, what will they do? Okay, so we determined now that this person is aware but subconsciously okay they are still trying to run away from this so what's next what's their next move what will they do what will this person do this person do what will be their next move let's see okay temperance balance harmony so they will try to establish some sort of a balance two of swords and five of wands so this part and four of pentacles is the bottom card so, hmm, this person will have in the future, um, I don't see that they would take any huge action towards the whole situation because they, they will have too much work to do with themselves. Okay, so their future is fighting this, struggling with this idea and they will try to establish some sort of a harmony some sort of a balance okay but for them somehow i don't see if they will mm, i'm not seeing that they would um uh confront with your person so with their partner i don't see that because again here we have a person who's having blinded eyes so this is a hard decision, okay? This is hard decision. Uh, their mind is pff, overthinking too much. They're facing a decision what to do. Uh, it's possible that they even think that they're... Um, that the whole situation is just in their imagination, okay? They're trying to convince themselves that... So, we do have here four of pentacles, so they are holding this to themselves. It's, like, it's not like that they would share their thoughts with anyone. So, somehow I feel that they are not confiding in anybody. So, maybe to call their best friend and said, look, I think that maybe I am in a third party situation involved. 
okay somehow i don't see this that this is the case it's more like they want to try to establish harmony uh balance in their peace so their peace of mind would be you know calm they want to calm down although they are having a huge struggle because deep down they are aware of the situation but they don't want to admit it okay so their next move is what i described just this so they will have a lot of struggle what to do how to realize this uh they will try to make some sort of a decision mm, they are not sharing the situation with anybody but they are trying to make some sort of a balance here they are trying to establish harmony they are trying to be you know that the scale would be even and we do ha also have here a justice okay i said before that it's possible that this is indicating um a divorce mm, but as you see justice has scale and those two i don't know what's the word here so uh what is the word of this so those um what's the word you know what i mean those pots that are hanging down here so you see here is the heart and here is the feather okay so they're trying to level so to control to make the balance so emotions and facts and their thoughts and everything so they're having a lot of work with themselves okay so somehow i don't see that they would actually take any further action um regarding the whole situation because they're having too much work with themselves okay so i will leave it that here and for you my viewer i will pull out one legendary goddess as a message for you so this will be the message for you you personally message for goddesses from group number one Aphrodite, so passion, passion, <laughs> so Aphrodite, passion, this is your message, let me read it to you, so Aphrodite, origin, Greek, so goddess of love, Aphrodite, teaches us to own our sexuality and be in touch with the material pleasures of the world. Think about what you've been passionate about and let that be a clue to reveal the answer you're looking for. Okay, so group number one, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, I hope that everything will work out well for you. Stay tuned for my next video. Take care and catch your wave. Hey, group number two, this is for everybody that picked up Gilded Tarot deck. So today we're trying to determine if you are in a third party situation, if third person is aware of the whole situation, if they are aware of you, and if they are aware of you, what are they thinking about it? And if they are not aware of it, what will be their next move? Okay, so we'll try, we are going somewhere around this. It's possible that uh, cards will lead us to other questions during the process. So it's possible that at the end you won't get the answer that you want. So we will see what the cards will show us. But first let's try to find out if this person is aware of the situation okay so are they aware that they are in a third party relationship okay so group number two is third person aware of the situation
third person aware of the situation. Hmm. Okay, the magician. So it's like they think they are in control. They're, it's possible that they even manipulate with your person. So magician is making magic. Magician does what he wants to do. And he is able to operate with everything. It could be even manipulator. So... Huh. Somehow I feel it's like that this person maybe doesn't even care. Okay, we will see what's next. What else? Is this person aware of the situation? Page of Swords and Three of Pentacles. <laughs> and King of Cups is bottom card. Um, and next is Four of Swords, so I think that this person, so this third person is snooping around, okay, they are spying around, um, I think, yes, they are aware of it, but they want proof. They want proof. I think that they, um, but somehow it's not like, like that they would be jealous, okay? I don't know why, but some, somehow I don't see a lot of emotions here. Somehow I don't see a lot of... I don't feel emotions. It's not like that this person would be some devastated um, person full of emotions and, you know. I see, like, that this is probably some... I feel like that this is a game for this person and it gets who will win this King of Cups. And... This King of Cups is your person, okay? So they're ready to fight for their person, but not in, um, you know, like uh, everything is allowed in love war, okay? So there are no rules and the magician is not obeying any rules. They are making rules. They are creating rules. And the rule is that there is no rule, you know? I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And they are snooping around, okay? They are snooping around and they are spying around. It's possible that they even are uh, following that person. <laughs> you know, here we have four of swords. So this is a person that is doing nothing. So, and in connection with this page of swords, because this page of swords is our peeper, our spy, okay? Somehow I imagine them, it's like... That they are spying around the corner, you know, following your person um, in the car or uh, f following them on foot along the street or the whole block, whatever, you know, somehow like this. Uh, it's possible that this person is also air sign. So Aquarius, Libra, uh, Gemini. And... Somehow, I, I don't even, so I don't feel emotions, I don't feel some loving emotions, I don't feel um, jealousy, everything looks like it's more from the convenience, but they're thinking like, okay, if this person is with me, then nobody else will having it, and I want to come to the bottom of it if they're having somebody else. Okay, so somehow they don't know if this is true, but they are aware that something is going on. Okay, and they are working on it. Tree of Pentacles. Working on it. So, but some... Uh, if they are spying, so this is everything going on secretly, so that this, your person, is not aware of it. Okay, so... <laughs> I mean, now I'm talking to you this. 
Uh, but somehow it's possible that your person, if you ask them, is your person know, does your person know about us? Um, he will probably say to you, no, no, I'm sure that, that they are doing something else, that they are just um, having their manicure, mani-pedi, and they don't care. It's like they don't care. Nuh-uh, not true. They are just giving the impression, so they are manipulating the situation and they are giving the impression like they don't know, okay? They are giving the impression like that they are taking rest. And they are resting, doing nothing, you know. And they give this impression to this person, that to your person, okay? Um, but no, they are spying around, they are checking social media. It's possible that they are even checking their phone, their accounts, you name it. Okay? Because everything is allowed in love war. And the rule is that there is no rule. Okay, so let's see now what their uh, next step will be. What will be their next move? What are they thinking about this situation? I mean, I described to you right now what are they thinking about the whole situation. So let's see now uh, what their next move will be. What will be their next move? What will they do? possible that your person is water sign not necessarily possibly water sign cancer pisces scorpio somehow i feel them more like cancer um somehow i feel that they are gentle and this person is you know like whew, holding their sword not some big love here i don't feel big love here <laughs> between them okay so what will be this third person's next move what will be their next move <laughs> okay queen of swords i will describe you <laughs> don't mind me laughing here <laughs> death and seven of wands knight of wands justice okay their next move they will come to the bottom of this no worries about that they will come to the bottom of this so let me pull those cards a little bit more up that you will see them they will come to the end of this shit they will come to the bottom of this they are determined they will do this no worries um they will fight and the whole at the end the whole situation will be like mm, how to describe this so that at the end they will it will look like like they, they are the victim and they will turn this into their favor and at the end it will look like it's not they they were uh the fucked person but it's like they will kick out your person it's hard to translate you know <laughs> i 
in in my language i would give you a very detailed but <laughs> i cannot describe what i you know i hope you understand um what i'm trying to say so at one point they will present themselves as a victim so oh, i'm a fourth uh third uh person here but they won't swallow this so they will make a move before your person will make a move so they will you know turn the situation around to their gain okay i hope you understand what i'm trying to say queen of swords look at her she's proud she's having swords she's red red haired okay this is someone who is very capable very very capable and she's determined and she is very intellectual but queen of swords is also a widow okay she's a widow she's single so and here we have a death this doesn't mean a death literally death so she won't try to stab your person but this is to come to the bottom of this so death means that one period is coming to an end something is ending this is transformation this is scorpio card okay this is transformation and it also means a new beginning okay so she will come presuming that this is she we are talking about she and i said that she is possible air sign so again queen of swords this uh peeper so page of swords air sign again now queen of swords it's possible that you are dealing with uh air sign so she will come to the bottom of it and here we have a justice okay so divorce separation uh possibly even um you know uh dealing properties financials whatever they have together and this will be a fight this will be a fight okay fiery fight so we do have here knight of wands so passionate fight seven of wands again someone who is alone against everybody okay so she will use all the sources but don't forget that she's a manipulator okay we're talking here about a great thinker a manipulator this is someone who knows how to be fiery but also a cut throwing bitch i just reminded now this expression again from tv series house md for everybody that are familiar with this series so house md had um among uh, his doctors a doctor called amber and she was taking all necessary tools to come to her um, result to their goal and he called her a cut throwing bitch and this person is cut throwing bitch okay excuse my language but this is how it is I mean, this is how I see this and how I feel this. She's manipulating the situation. She will come to the bottom of this. She will prove that she's in a third party situation, that she is a victim, but she she's a victim, but she will use this to her own gain. So that at the end she will kick out your king of cups. Okay? And if they are married divorce okay separation whatever and here we have death so this will be a fight she will take all all means everything um what is the word so everything possible to reach her goal okay this is how i see it <laughs> i mean again this is the potential outcome potential potential tendencies energies and at the end as you do have your own free will also this person has their own free will to make their own choices okay so 
let's leave it here okay so group number two i'll stop right here for the end one legendary goddess card for you this is now for you not for that for that person this is now for you, message for you from Leg Legendary Goddess, Goddess's deck. So what is the message here for you? Um, poo, what's this name? Estzanatlehi. I don't know if I've pronounced it right. I'm sorry. Estzanatlehi, but you see transformation. Transformation. And I was talking about death card, transformation. So this whole situation will get some sort of transformation. Not only this person will get to transformation, but this is also a message for you. Okay, so... I don't know, a hint, an idea. Maybe you need also transformation of the whole the situation. And maybe it's not worth being involved in all this. Okay, so this is the message for you. So also transformation. Let me read it. So, Estzanatlehi. Hmm. Origin, Native American. You've been through a lot in your life lately, and your heart may feel heavy. Let Estzanatlehi, goddess of the sky and earth, help lift your weary spirit and renew it. Transformation is her specialty. It's time to take the lesson, release it, and say thank you next to this phase of your life. I'll just let you the this thought sinks now in you okay group number two so group number two thank you for watching um please like share subscribe to the channel um i hope that everything will work out well for you stay tuned for my next video take care and catch your wave hey group number three this is for everybody that picked up crystal vision tarot deck so today we are trying to determine if a third person, presuming that you are in a third party relationship, if a third person is aware of the situation and if they are, what are they thinking about it and what will be their next move, okay? If not, then not, okay? So we'll try to find out answers. So... Are they aware of the situation that they are in a third party relationship? Are they aware of the situation? Are they aware of this situation? Whoa, okay, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is a thief someone who is going out through the back door someone who is sneaking out huh just got the idea that no i won't express the idea <laughs> because i don't want to influence so i will tell you if the cards will confirm my idea so is this person aware 
of this situation. Somehow I feel that this person is very sad. I mean, the thief is usually a person that somehow I don't find very emotional. But I don't know why. Somehow I feel that this person is very sad. And escaping through the back doors because they don't want to confront it. They don't want to face the situation. Yeah, <laughs> it confirms it. Ah, huh, interesting. The star and two of swords. <laughs> so I had some sort of an idea when I got the seven of swords. Um, the cards quite confirm it. So somehow, let me explain what I thought. When I was still shuffling after the Seven of Swords, um, I felt that this person is somehow sad. And because they don't want to face it, they will go through the back door and they will just leave. Okay, this was my idea. And I think that I was quite right and that they will actually go. Okay, but they will have, they will go to someone they will go to somebody okay at first my first idea was that they will sneak through the back door that they possibly have a lover okay that they also have a lover and that they will just sneak through the back door and that they will leave the whole situation and they will be gone okay this was my idea when i was still shuffling so this is close okay not quite but close so for some of you could be that they are having a lover and that but i'm a little bit a little bit worried because of this nine of swords so this person for me is too sad that they would go to a lover it's more like that they would go to a really good friend uh to a really good friend a uh, male friend somehow i see a really good male friend could be possibly even big brother or something but i'm more inclined to a friend someone who is protecting them it's possible that they were maybe a childhood sweetheart or that they know each other for a really long time um childhood friend whatever someone who is their very good friend and that they are getting some sort of a protection that, that this friend is protecting them somehow i see this king of wands as their friend for some of you um i mean for some of you for some of the people here in this situation it's possible that this could be also a lover because king of wands is someone who's very passionate fire sign Aries, leo sagittarius um but yes i still think this is maybe similar to group number one if you won't get message here in group number three maybe also check group number one it is maybe a little bit similar some points here are similar some cards are even similar nine of swords and two of swords um but Okay, I won't describe you now, group number one. So. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think that this person is sad and hurt. And yes, they are aware of this situation. And they can't sleep. They are anxious. They are having fears. It's like they... Somehow I feel it's like that they are embarrassed. Okay, they are embarrassed that they are in this kind of situation. And it's like, you know, here is the thief. So it's like that they are picking up um, the most necessary things. So the things that they really need and they will just go. They will sneak out through the back door. Somehow, I don't know why I'm having this picture that they will sneak through the door, through the back door. So if they live together, so in the middle of the night, they will just pack their things and they will just leave. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. <laughs> I mean, this person is so sad and they don't want to confront this person. 
Okay, uh, so your person, they don't want to confront the, your person, they will just leave. Okay, and they are preparing it for quite some time. And this is the decision here. So two of swords, okay. This person, I presume that this is she. Okay, let's talk about she. So that she is having a difficult time making a decision, okay. How to do this, how to get away from this relationship, and she doesn't want to face it, okay? I don't see her, like, going to your person and said, look, I have enough of this, uh, let's stop this, I want to get out, okay? They don't want to confirm this, but they know that this decision will get them to a better position, okay? They, it's like... Um, okay, don't get me wrong, I'm on no side here, okay, I'm not taking any sides here, I'm just trying to describe you what I think that this person is right now feeling, what are they thinking, okay, it's not like I'm sympathetic with them, I'm just trying to describe you this situation okay i'm not taking any sides here um okay so because here we have the star and star is something really nice really beautiful something you deserve like something that every woman deserves okay be a shining star for somebody okay and now this trust was cut okay it's like they feel betrayed and they know that this person knows, she knows that she she deserves better, okay? So I really feel the sadness here, but at the same time, she doesn't have to power, she doesn't have the power to confront this. So that's why she's sneaking to the back door, okay? She's escaping it, okay? And she's speaking the most valuable things, whatever she can hold, whatever she can take, and she will go. And somehow I think that somebody is waiting for her. Some sort of a confidant, a friend. For some of you, possibly even a lover. But somehow I don't see this um, sad, devastating person as, somewhat, as somebody with a lover. I think that this is someone who is protecting her. Someone who will offer her and gave her protection. This king of wands will give her protection. And... This person will make her feel better, okay? So that all her hopes will come to, um, to fruition, so that their wishes, her wishes will come true. Uh, it's also that somebody here is Aquarius, okay? Star is card of an Aquarius. Uh, but this person, so this she, this woman, now so this third person, is facing a very hard decision right now, okay? So she's blinded, she doesn't know what to do, this is very hard for her, um, she's probably not making it on all the facts, but from hurt, you know, this is a hurtful decision, she's hurt. Uh, but looks like, yes, that she's aware and that's why she's preparing or all this escaping plan, okay? So, let's see now what is this person's next move, okay? So, what will they do next? So, it's like now they are aware of the situation. Looks like that they are preparing an escape and it's possible that they will go to someone who is protecting them. I'm so sorry, but another idea came, popped up in my mind and I was having it for quite some time, but I didn't want to express it um, because it's very sensitive. Um, because I'm talking about this protection here. Um, somehow it's, po it's possible for some of those persons that there was some sort of an abuse, okay? It's possible that there was even some sort of an abuse and that's why this escaping plan, 
and all the fear and everything you know but the, these are very hard things okay so please be careful no matter what please please be careful it was somewhere back in my mind it's possible that it's possible, of course, that there is some sort of an abuse here we are talking about. Because that's why I'm talking about this protection, protection. Some, because I really see this person and this is someone who is protecting her. Okay, so they're escaping. So, look, I don't know what your situation is. I'm just describing my thoughts i'm connecting the dots here so what will be this person's next move what will they do okay what will they do Eight of Cups, walking away. Strength. So they will need a lot of strength, a lot of power to walk away. And the unknown card. The unknown card. So let's pull out one more. Seven of Cups and the bottom card is Eight of Wands and Six of Cups. Okay, so let me just a little bit arrange those cards so that you will see them. So the, this was the awareness of the situation. So now, what will this person do? They will walk away, but they will need a huge strength, okay? So we do have here again a lion. So this is card of Leo. Uh, and again here King of Wands has Leo. So somehow I think that this person will encourage um, this girl that she should walk away. And all attempts here are to walk away. Because Eight of Cups means walking away from the situation. Okay, walking away. Literally walking away. So she will walk away. She will do everything to walk away. And next we had here the unknown card. And this unknown card means that still some things are to be revealed. Okay. There is, this is, we are at some point that some things are still secret. Okay. Somehow I relate to this that she wants to go to escape unnoticed. Okay. So somehow I think that this is more that her plans are not yet to be revealed, okay, that she will just go, she will try to go as secretly as possible. Then here we have Seven of Cups, which is indicating some sort of a confusion, some sort of confusion and between many options, okay. It's like she's thinking about what kind of options she has. She knows that she has to go away and now she's thinking she is a little bit confused, okay? And then here we have Eight of Wands, which is, means that things are already in progress, okay? Things are already in happening, so this will um, happen very fast, okay? And again, here we have Six of Cups, which are sweet memories, sweet Things, childhood memories so again I see here more than one possibility so that she will actually go to this childhood uh, friend or high school sweetheart whatever for, so from to somebody that she's sharing history but as a friend not as a lover okay um, then if I go a little bit back to that you know that heart um, possibility, so about situations. So if we're talking here about that abused woman, uh, if you know that there is going on something like this, please call the authorities or whatever, whoever necessary, okay? Because here, you know what is usually happening 
with that kind of women so they're preparing to go but they are never really ready to go they are confused and it's possible that that they are clinging to happy memories okay it won't be so bad we had great times and they will be confused and they will do nothing okay i'm really sorry that i have to talk about this but this is true okay this is happening behind the walls behind the walls of families homes and all my heart goes to this woman okay so if you know that something like this is happening please interfere or tell anybody but i don't know why but somehow you know i'm just expressing my thoughts again this is just the potential it's not necessarily that this is happening okay it's not necessarily I really hope that it's not. I hope that I'm wrong. Okay? But it is a possibility. It is. Okay? Huh. But if we are talking on the sunny side, so on the positive side, if there is nothing like this going on, then this person just wants to leave this everything behind and she will do it, okay? She is in the process of doing this, but somehow she is having second thoughts, okay? She's having second thoughts, uh, but somehow I see that she will do this, okay? She will go through this and that she will go and that she is possibly will go to... Um, to her friend, to her protector, but she will still uh, have happy memories, okay? Somehow like this. So, <laughs> I mean, this story right now, this is not a classical drama situation, not classical third party relationship, but again, again, I'm trying to describe what this third person is aware of this situation how they are reliving it how are they reviving it what are they thinking about it everything else this has nothing to do with you okay it this i'm not describing here your actions but the potential actions of that third person you have to understand that okay so what else can we say here nothing nothing else i will just leave it here because somehow i don't feel that to describe this more definitely there is walking away okay and definitely there is aware of the situation awareness of the situation and definitely want wanting so wish to get out okay wish to get out of this situation okay so i will leave it here and group number three, now I will pull out one legendary lady goddess as a message for you, for you personally, okay, for you personally. This is not the message for this third person, but for you. Amaterasu, so goddess Amaterasu, uh, keyword is inner beauty, okay, inner beauty, let me read you the message, so Amaterasu, origin Shinto, drawing this card means finding your own inner beauty and shining it onto the world like the Japanese goddess Amaterasu, if you've been disappointed or discouraged, Look within yourself for the light you need to go forward. Okay, so group number three, take this message. Um, if nothing else resonated with you, just please take at least this message. Okay, so group number three, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I hope, really, really hope that everything will work out well. Stay tuned for my next video, take care and catch your wave.